Okay, my ninjas, welcome back to more Let's Play uh, Dragon Quest XI Blind. And of course, I couldn't make it to the gate without getting into a freaking fight. Oh well. Uh, in the last one, we went to the um, the village where the houses look like ocarinas. Oh man, they tried to curse me? Uh, not cool, bruh. Okay. I wonder if this is going to be like a transition... Like we just we just go up and show the pass or whatever, and then we're on the other side. Uh, okay, just opens. Why is there a bed here? Maybe for this guy to sleep. And break your barrel. Nothing. Okay, halt! None shall pass without a, a pass. Show the guard your pass. Uh, why wouldn't you? Thomas shows the galop. Uh, Galap Galapolis, Galapolis, pass to the guard. Hmm, very well. Ever seen? Everyone thinks seems to be in order. Through you, through you go. Golly. All right, all right, we're done. Um, did you guys know? Brownies didn't. Uh, didn't we fight these guys already? Oh man, hit me for nine. This must be the uh, the weaker or the stronger version of it. Yeah, these guys are in uh, Dragon Quest Eight. These have to be like the second, like it's like a palette swap. I'm guessing. Do we fight some of these guys early on in the game? I don't 100% remember. But uh, did you guys know that you can see uh, dick pics on Twitter? Uh, I unfortunately learned that, um, and even more unfortunate than that. Um, it was, uh, it was pro Jared, uh, and I'm like, God dang it, because, uh, a while back, I don't know if anyone remembers, in internet time, it's, like, super duper old news by now, but, um, but, uh, his, like, his, like, wang pics, like, leaked or whatever, and everyone's like, oh my gosh, I can't see, I can't unsee it, I can't unsee it, oh my gosh, and there is that part of me that's just like, wh like, how did everybody see it, except, I don't know, like, Nobody said to go to Twitter to see him. But, uh, yeah, it, let me put it to you like this. It, you can definitely tell that it's not his first dick pic. He definitely has, like, the angle in everything, and he has it, like, where, like, his wang is, like, the closest thing. Hey, we got bang, by the way. And fizzle? They definitely have it where, um, like, the wang is, like, the closest thing, and it looks freaking huge. And he's, like, a, he's, like, a skinny guy that whose wing you would not expect to be that big but it's just it's all just angles and camera tricks and whatnot but uh, the reason i brought that up jeez yes the reason i brought that up is not because i enjoy looking at dudes wangs um but uh it came out a while back that he was um like sort of exonerated he was accused of like inappropriate stuffs ring of rack and ruin uh, summons a sigil that sends the chance of your party casting critical spells through the roof. Huh. I didn't know you could cast critical spells in this game. But he was accused of doing inappropriate stuff, and there was, like, underage people involved, and basically, his channel didn't die, but everybody thought that he was, like, the scum of the earth, you know? And then, uh, at the same time... Uh, mini metal. Alright, cool. So these accusations come out, and then pro J and then pro Jared like goes like silent. So it's like, well, I get like you you seem guilty when you're not gonna like defend yourself or say that it's not true or something. Like I kind of want to try it, but I'm not gonna like I don't I don't want to use spells on this uh, fight. It's just whack normal. It's fine. So dude went silent, and it was like, oh, see, he's acting guilty, you know. But, uh, yeah, as it turns out, the reason he was silent is because he was, like, lawyer lawyering up. And he didn't want... He wanted to approach... He wanted to approach it correctly and make sure that all his, uh, T's were crossed and do uh, I's were dotted or whatever. He wanted to make sure that, like, legally he was doing the correct thing. Because if he responds and makes a video off the top of his head or whatever, he wanted to make sure that, like, his legal defense would be, um, like, ironclad so he, uh, didn't say anything. Until he got the, um, until he got, like, the, I don't know what you call it, green light or whatever to, uh, to respond, you know, from his, the green light from his lawyer or whatever to, to, uh, to respond or whatever. I didn't even grab that one. Uh, Beast Bone. P 
piece of witherwood. Did I talk to this guy? Hello there, Mr. Luminary. I took my ticking time, but I found a password for you. I'm going to go ahead and say it now, so make sure you're paying attention. It's... Alright. The password it's found? It's... I don't think that's... Is that a... Man, I don't know. It might be a misspelling or whatever. Uh, okay, so we can go back. Uh, there are more tacos out there. Why don't we wait the hour searching for passwords, you know? Be sure to take a moment to talk to them if you come across any. Okay. And with that, I'm clocking off and trundling back to Ticking Ton. It was lovely meeting you, and good luck with the rest of your adventure TikTok. Okay, shut up. So how exactly are they learning these pest words? Okay, I just wanted the iron ore. Jeez. All right, I also got to remember to... Hey, prestigi Prestigitator. Uh, that's the enemy... Or that's one of the enemies from the first Dragon Quest game. Uh, he didn't look like that. He was like a hooded dude, I think, right? But uh, he didn't have his hands up like that. He's like praising Jesus or something. I don't know. But basically, when it first, when the allegations came out, everybody like made their videos like, "Oh my gosh, he's such a, he's such a, I can't believe he's such a scumbag." Blah, blah, blah. You know, just totally believed it. And then after he was like sort of exonerated, he had the receipts too, so he had like proof that he like didn't do anything wrong. And then all of a sudden, you know, and then people have to, you know, a lot of the people I listen to uh, or you know watch on YouTube, um, they are the kind, they're the kind of people that are willing to like admit they're wrong and whatnot and admit that they like overreacted or should have you know they should have waited for evidence before just believing it you know so on the one hand i, re I respect that but on the other hand it's like you know they're like well maybe we should we sh maybe you know maybe we shouldn't just believe people believe accusations and it's like okay i get that but it's like on the other hand i'm like uh yeah you think like why like like why like why was i like the only person that was, um, that was like, let's wait for evidence. There's no evidence. But everyone just jumped on the, he must be guilty. He's got dick pics. I mean, do you, do you, do you, get, what do you get what I'm saying? Jeez. Yeah, these guys were actually pretty dangerous in the first Dragon Quest. You, you run into them about halfway through the game. If you run into them too soon, they can, uh, they can wreck you pretty easily. I don't even know if I want to go there. Oh, wait, okay, so this... Okay, I came from the upper right. Do I want to go to that castle? That looks like it might be like an evil castle or something. I don't know if I want to go there. But they were like, well, maybe we shouldn't have jumped to conclusions. And I'm like, yeah, you think? No, maybe we, maybe we should... Uh, maybe we shouldn't have jumped the gun on it. Yeah, you think? <laughs> like, what, like why, why was that not obvious? Yeah, I don't know. Uh, I think I did talk about it briefly. I think it was an episode of Mario Maker. Uh, I mentioned. Yeah, like everybody had a take on it. Everybody was calling him guilty. Uh, except for me. I forget exactly what I said, but I did um, I did acknowledge it in an episode of Mario Maker. I don't, like, I forget exactly what I said, but. Oh, well, I thought that. Well, who's freaking? Oh, okay. I thought that the um, I thought the blue thing where it says Serena meant poison for some reason. Some games have it where that um, if I just hit Handy Heal, would that cure the poison? All right. Sometimes if they have a status ailment, it'll appear there. But it says the word poisoned at the bottom. But if I recall correctly, I said something along the lines of I'm just waiting for the the nudes. Apparently there was um, nudes of. Uh, Ross's uh, wife or whatever. And man, I don't know, man. I guess she, like... I don't know. I have, like, strange taste in uh, in women. I don't know. There's... I sort of like it when... Rarified? Okay, let's attack him. Is he gonna run away? Let's, um... I crack him? Let's do a, let's do a spell. Huh. Okay, so you're like the this is like the um the support spell person, and then Veronica is the attack magic. Okay, so what does it mean that he's rarefied? I was actually able to hit him. Is he still gonna run away though? Oh 
Oh man, super dead. Uh, Flame Slash? I don't know. Uh, Rebel Rouser? Hmm. Uh, let's just attack. I'm guessing that the uh, Golden Globe dude is probably almost dead, I hope. Alright, get him. Is that one uh, Golden dude, like, doing all the damage? Okay, okay, geez, I'll freaking heal. God dang. Boy, they are effing me up. I almost have to heal with everybody. Okay, hold on, let me back up. Okay. So you heal. Uh, you item. I'll have everybody heal themselves. Wait, she doesn't really need it. Oh, well, god dang it. Well, in that case... I'll have uh, you do Flame Slash. They did, what, 28 last time? Then I'll have you uh, heal, and then you have magic, so you heal. But, um, yeah, uh, what's her name? Holly? Uh, she has this, um, she has that weird thing where, like, her eyes are, like, very slightly cross-eyed. I don't know. I think that that's, uh, that looks cute on some women, jeez. I don't mean like fully, like one eye is like pointing inward, but it's it's just, like it's almost like subtle, you know. I don't know. I think there's something cute about that. Um. Okay, well we gotta stay on the flame slashes, I think. Man, maybe if I attack with Eric, I'm gonna attack with Eric and um and have Serena use heal. Because if these boomer, if, if the boomerang is can uh, take out the uh, the cactus guys, that'll uh, increase the amount of damage that, um, or that'll decrease the amount of damage they do per turn. Man, this dude is. Oh man, it's not looking good. All of a sudden, what the frick, man? Why did Thomas have to die? I had someone heal him. Why didn't he get healed? Did I have someone heal him? Well, you gotta heal yourself now. I guess the good news is that when they do group attacks, now uh, it only hits two people now. <laughs> Why? Alright, let's get out of here. The enemy blocks the way, of course! Did the underpants dance? Wow. Jesus freaking crimity, dude. Oh, Thomas was revived, but Eric and Veronica are still dead. We gotta pay for them to get revived. No. Okay, what? Let's just. Uh, I do actually sort of like this. Okay, I just gotta make it to this stupid campfire. Look at that. We're dragging their coffins along. All right, we should be able to take out. Uh, you know what? I almost don't want to risk it. Let's just run. I uh, wonder what what what. We would have gotten from that uh, golden cactus ball, dude. Oh man, why is the area around the campfire so bright? All right, revive. How much is this gonna cost? Okay, a hundred gold. Okay, that's not that bad. Oh dang it! I thought I had determined that uh, you didn't have to heal. Or didn't have to pay to revive him. Turns out you do, god dang it. Alright, well at least uh, at least Thomas comes back. So even though Serena was the only one alive, I at least had a fighting chance with Thomas alive. I'm pretty sure that the... Uh, well, the way they normally do it is that the cost to revive increases the higher level you get. Okay, let me stay the freaking night. Uh, rest. Rest until sunrise. I guess you could, uh, I was about to say, why would you rest until sunset? Because then it's just, like, darker and hard to see or whatever. But I think you fight... Did they say that the enemies are stronger at night? Uh, the Celestial Sands? West Laguna de Gondolia? Man, I don't know. Let's check out the castle. Actually, you know what? Let's not... I almost died. Let's not F around. Let's freaking heal. Or let's not heal. Um, uh, save. Uh, I was thinking about going back to 3D mode, 
just so I could check out uh, to see if um, to see how hot uh, Veronica is. But I had to start the whole chapter over again, where I first go into the town with the uh, with the bathhouse, where I first meet um, that other girl, this the girl with the red hat. So I was like, man, I don't want to replay all that just to find out if uh, Veronica is hot. We'll find out at some point. Uh, okay, castle, castle. I walked right past it. Ooh, single cacti ball. You about to get effed up, man. They're like super easy when they're by themselves. Oh, by the way, I forgot to mention. Uh, I think I showed it. I think I like it was in the, like it was on screen, but I didn't say anything about it. Uh, Veronica and Serena have a uh, secondary weapon. Uh, Veronica can equip. Uh, she can equip the thorn whip. And Serena can equip uh, the lance. So we can actually, so so Serena can actually be um, a, like a stronger fighter, and Veronica can attack uh, groups of enemies. But then I'll lose the MP regen, I guess. I guess if I'm going to be getting MP regen, I should have had Veronica use Bang to take out all the cactuses instead of just focusing on the gold cactus. Well, I thought that maybe because it was like a gold rare one or whatever, I thought it was going to like run away. Because that's, uh, that's what the metal slimes do in Dragon Quest games. They usually give a lot of uh, experience. But they're, but they're usually hard to find or whatever, and they usually run away right away. So I was trying to like, t like single target that one and get him uh, killed quickly. But I know now that if that happens again, to just go ahead and use Bang and and take them all out. And I'm pretty sure Bang is uh, hits all enemies, not just a group. Oh, this is actually a town. All right. Yeah, it's a town. Oh, just look at all of these people. How marvelous. Is there some kind of festival going on, I wonder? Uh, probably not. Do you see a festival occurring? I, I do not. Uh, hmm, yes, of course. Uh, Galopo Galopolis is the kingdom of the desert knights, isn't it? And of the racetrack where they love to compete. I think we've arrived in town just in time for the horse racing festival. How would you know that? Well, you go, you go play with ponies if you like. I'm off to look for the Yidrasil branch. That's why we're here, in case you've forgotten. Oh, let Mr. Moody, uh, no fun, go off on his own if he wants. There's nothing to stop us from having a little look around while we're here. Okay, first order of business, break the things and get the pot of oasis water. Um, hmm. Oh, well, welcome to Galapagos, a uh, home of Erdria's most magnificent horse races. The races are open to all. Simply pay a visit to the stables on the western side of the city where you wish where you wish to participate. Well, I'm not going to participate. I'm not a horse, and I'm not going to race. Okay, inside the well, we have a shiny. I didn't see what that said. And another locked door. Another place to remember to visit when I gain the ability to open those doors. Oh man, I am not going to remember that place. By the time we get to episode like 37, I'm going to totally forget about all this. Uh, probably this entire town, actually. Ah, visitors, may I ask from where you have traveled? Ah, Hato, I know it well. Would, uh, would that I could bathe in those delightful springs every day? Welcome to the Armour Shop. All right, what you got, Borowski? Um, uh, dancer's costume? Hmm. Uh, I could buy that. I mean, that's eight defense. That's pretty good. Eight defense is pretty good uh, when I only have 44. I mean, that's like a, that's almost like a 20% increase. Uh, bunny ears? Man, that's nine for Veronica. Oh, and it's nine for um for Serena too. So that's like more, and it's cheaper. I could buy uh those for those two people. Yeah, I've been keeping up with the um with the forging uh for Thomas and Eric. So their uh their upgrades or whatever aren't going to be as strong since I have the the forged uh, stuff. Man, let's buy uh 
Actually, you know what? If you buy two bunny ears, you have to give both to one person. Which is completely ridiculous. Like, why can't I just give one to one person and one to the other person? I mean, that's the only reason that you would buy more of one of any of these things anyway. And then why doesn't it give you the option to sell the thing you just replaced? I mean, for all the quality of life things that this game does, you think that streamlining the selling stuff process would be a little bit better, you know? Oh, man, I still do want this. I'll have to uh, find the bank. What if we're collecting 100 different types of item? Shouldn't it be items? Yeah, there's got to be, like, magic keys or something. Okay, let's take the muns out from the bank. Uh, 2,000, dude. I don't know how this bank makes any money. I guess they don't do the, uh, they don't do the, uh, the fractional lending. Oh, then again, I mean, I don't know, maybe they do. All right. Who will, who will be carrying it? Oh, you know, the one person who can equip it? Alrighty, and I could, um, and I can forge it to make it uh, even stronger if I want. Oh, I did also uh, get, did I, did I mention this? I forget if I mentioned this, but um, I also learned uh, lightning strike. When I first saw it, I was, it, I thought, I thought, you know how this game has a lot of words that are like spelled funny? I thought it was like a, one of those words that was spelled in a goofy way. I thought it was saying lightning. But it looked like lightening. I was like, what the frick? But turns out it, it is lightening. It's if you want to do like a small strike. It does, uh, you hit it for, you hit it at half strength. So if you just need the bar to go up like a little bit, uh, you would do that instead of doing a normal strike and risk going over, you know? Oh, hey, honey, how sweet of you to come back to see me. Are you a fan? Um, I'll be honest and say no. Hey, there's no need to be shy. I don't bite. If you're here for the show, you don't have to wait long. Oh, it's going to be fabulous, darling. My best yet. You don't say. Interested in the circus, eh? Well, I'm the ringmaster. <coughs> oh, excuse me. We're just getting ready for our biggest show of the year. The annual Sand Nation Special. Sand National Special. Jeez. That's always popular, but this time we've managed to sign up the great uh, uh, Silvando. Uh, one of the world's top performers, performers and ticket sales have gone through the roof. There was a lot of freaking reading in this game. Honestly, can't believe we've got him. I was sure he'd refuse to see. He's renowned for wanting to do his own thing. Well, maybe, uh, maybe times are tough. Maybe he's got, uh, maybe the bills have been piling up and now he's going to take anything he can, uh, anything he can get. Oh, are you here to buy tickets for the circus? I'm afraid they're all sold out. It's because Silv's performing, you see. Uh, they all sold in a flash. You'll have to try again another, another time. Hold up, you can't go in there right now. Sorry. I actually wasn't trying to. I'm using the analog stick. So sometimes when you're using the analog stick and you have eight directional controls, sometimes you, uh... You hit the wrong... Sometimes, like, as soon as you put your thumb on it and you start moving it, it takes you, like, a split second to go in the direction you want. I just scratched my head, so I took my hand off the controller. Uh, featuring uh, command performance from the great... Okay, we get it. Jesus Christ. Not to be missed. We just need some clap emojis. Man, the clap emoji, like, the whole thing where you put a clap emoji in between every word in a sentence is the most goddamn stupid thing, like, ever. Uh, my boy truly loves the circus. Ever since he heard... About this special performance, it is all that he has spoken of. Unfortunately, the great Silvato is such a draw that all the tickets have sold out. I do not know how to tell him. What's well, a good life lesson? That life is not fair. Uh, speaking of life not being fair, um, I wish I could give you the priceless gift of Puff Puff. Hey, sure. Oh, I'm so happy to hear you say this. Come then, follow me. Hee hee. The story will have to wait. Already had a file of finescence. Oh, no panties. Bundle of soft wart. All right. Any any vibrating items uh, under the bed? No. Goodness me, but I can not. Uh, but I cannot see you all at once. 
Uh, whatever do you think I am? Tee hee. Hey, you got enough holes. Uh, just you, my sweet. You and you alone. Come now. Will you follow me to my private chamber? Sure. Wonderful. Then follow me. Hee hee. Thomas nervously leaves his friends behind. Why does, um... Why did that text seem so, like, dim? Is it alright with you if I turn off the lights? Yes? What happens if I say no? Do not tease me so, my sweet. Hee hee. Here we go, then. Hee hee. Aw, oh, man. Puff, puff, puff. Puff, 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 puff. Hee hee. Uh, he 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 he. Puff, puff, puff. Okay, we get it. Lots of puffs. Uh, or what? What are you? Hit. Oh my gosh. So many puffs. Hey, that, that tickles. I give a puff, puff, and an aff. I do her, her. What? My sweet, meet my father. He's the greatest practitioner of the puff, puff in all the lands of the world. No. Uh, that's me. That's me done then. Don't be a stranger, eh, sunshine? Her, her. God damn it. So, my sweet, how are you feeling? Are you soothed and calmed? I do hope so. You will uh, come and visit us again soon, yes? Oh my gosh. So, was I putting my face between his testicles or something instead of her breasts? Uh, don't you go giving my girl any funny ideas, you ear. She's got enough of her own already. Her, her. So, uh, how was it? Sounds magical. All right, shall we get going? I wonder what that would have looked like in 3D mode. I guess I'll find out on my second uh, playthrough. Uh, 21 gold coins. This horse with a beautifully brushed coat. What? Have you met the uh, the great Silvando? And and you have spoken to him? Oh, so it's just the dude. Well, he's chilling there. I just walked up and talked to him. Truly, I'm green with envy. To exchange words with the undisputed grandmaster of the performing arts is my greatest ambition. Well, then go exchange some words with him. He's right there, dude. Oh, man. There's a, there's a lot of stuff. Man, I, see, this is what I'm talking about. I could spend an, an entire, like, episode just going and talking to, like, every single person. But, uh, oh wait, this is the beginning. We looped around. Alright, fair enough. Uh, I don't think I broke these yet. But, uh, speaking of life not being fair, uh, we're probably gonna have to work, uh, six hours on Saturday. Which, apparently, a dollop of horse manure? That's silly. But, uh, normally what we've been doing, apparently, is, uh, we've been alternating first, second, and then third shift each week. One shift would work overtime, and we've been, like, cycling through. And I work third shift now, but, uh, second shift ran a small ten-man line, which wasn't, like, it wasn't, like, actual full production or whatever. Uh, mini metal? Alright, cool. So everyone's like, it's like... Like, oh, they didn't run production, so that shouldn't that shouldn't count as their as them doing their uh, their overtime or whatever their overtime time running actual production or whatever. I work in a factory, so they're like, oh, this is bullshit. That shouldn't count because uh, Friday is also Valentine's Day. So they're like, why should we have to cut our Valentine's plan short to go work? And I'm sitting here going like, okay, well, if a girl isn't gonna bang you because you got forced to work, then she probably didn't like you that much to begin with, you know? But I'm sitting here going like, well, the company can, like, just because we've been cycling doesn't mean that they have to. They're not, like, legally obligated. It's not, like, written down anywhere that they have to cycle. And even if, just because they've been cycling doesn't mean that they have to keep doing it, you know? So yeah, so they're like, oh, it's bullshit, it's not fair. It's like, yeah, but do you know what else is not fair? Life. You know, so it's like, how do you get that far into adulthood and you think that life should be fair and you're going to piss and moan every time something happens that's not fair? It's like you like you work for that. Like you work for them. They've got you by the balls. If they're not breaking anything that's written down or any rules that are written down, there's nothing you can do. You can quit, but go ahead, quit, you know, but you're not going to. Then he would do just sitting at the table. He's, he's like, he's like, we should all. When they say that we have to work, we should all, like, stand up and say we're not going to do it. And I'm like, dude. Um, hmm. Uh, I kind of want to keep the... Uh, I don't know. I'll keep what I've got for now. Oh, man, we're actually already at an episode. 
see the time goes by so fast it's like well i don't want to i kind of don't want to spend more time like talking to you know i could spend the whole next episode just talking to people the knight's word is his bond his kingdom his master he serves the weak untiringly challenges the strong unflinchingly and never retreats in the face of adversity ah the knight's pledge it never did appeal to me in truth uh, okay what do these signs say okay okay so what do I have to do to make progress, I wonder? Aw, oh, you don't even know the Knight's Pledge. You just cheated. You just, cut, you just like, read it off the sign. Um, do I have to go back in here and talk to a dude again, I wonder? Are you a fan? Yes. Well, it's an honor to have such a fine young fellow cheering me on. If you're here for the show, you won't have to wait long. Okay. So you say basically the same thing. Oh, wait, did I go in here? Is there anything in here? What's the purpose of this area? Uh, that's where they put the the people that get accused of doing underage dirty stuff with no proof, right? Wait, did I talk to this guy? This is the entrance to the spectator stands. As there is no race taking place at the moment, I cannot permit you to enter. Okay. Uh, hello. The end times are coming. The great evil will soon be re reawoken. I feel it. I feel it in my bones. The days of peace and happiness are at an end. Soon this world will be, will be plunged into endless despair. Remember my words. Remember them well. Do you know that uh, they did surveys back in the... Was it the 80s? I forget exactly when. But they said, when do you... Like, they asked people if they thought that Jesus Christ was going to come back in their lifetime. And ever since they started asking people, like a huge percentage of people think... You know, a percentage of Christians think that Jesus Christ is coming back in their lifetime. Or they think it's like, it's soon, like any day, any minute now. But people have been thinking that for like decades, so it's like, well. Oh. Uh, did I already talk to these people? I guess the problem with not systematically going around, hey, it's Trunks. Uh, the problem with not going around and talking to everybody is that then when you do need to find the person to talk to, you're like, who, well, who did I talk to and who did I not talk to? You know, these, these horse sprites are quite strange. See that? Like, why do they have to be walking in place? It's freaking weird, man. Plus, they look like... They look like fat, kind of. And it looks like their tail is like... I don't know. It looks like their tail is like not coming out of their butt properly. Dude's just sleeping on the ground? In full armor? What the hell? Hello, you. Uh, clop, clop, clop. And then you hear a plop, plop, plop. What? Have you seen uh, Sheriff Faze's house? What? Or horse? No. Or I. No, I haven't. But I accidentally hit yes. He's a wonderful beast, is he not? His coat is as smooth as silk, while his muscles are as hard as steel. Truly, he's one of the greats. I dream of riding such a steed myself one day. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I never had the urge to ride a horse. I really don't care. Uh, gets me back into the city. Why couldn't I just walk back the way I came? I almost want to just, like, mash through all the text to find the right person to talk to. Can I go in here? Is this where I'm supposed to actually go? I just need to know what leads to progress, man. Wait. Head for the Sultan's Palace up the steps in the center of Galapagos. Am, Am I up the steps? Okay, well, I can't go that way. Man, I totally forgot about the uh, the hitting X to be told uh, what you have to do, like what what your immediate goal is. Try to not become lost again. Jeez, I was not lost, sir. Okay, so it set up the steps. It should be right here, right? Fond of evening strolls. Ah, uh, okay. So I have to wait till nighttime, maybe. Prohibited at night? Is it night? It looks day enough. Is it actually nighttime? It can't be nighttime. There's like children playing outside still. Alright, let's hit up the inn. And then we'll call it an episode. Oh, I totally knew that they were going to do the thing with the uh, with the stupid magic keys. Alright, let's put a thousand uh, dollars back in.
Uh, 32. I mean, it's a little bit more, but yeah, whatever. Okay, so this is going to put us at morning now, right? Maybe it's going to be like, yeah, it's like super bright now. Okay, so now it's definitely daytime. Oh, man. It's like all deserty too. Okay, so, um, where do you go to save? Are you the save guy? Probably not. Oh, wait, wasn't the church on the, like, the far left side? Uh, yeah, I didn't go inside. Okay, so, uh, that's gonna do it uh, for this one. And the next one, we'll do the thing we're supposed to do. After I break this stuff. Angel Bell? Is that, uh, Traveler's Hood, huh? Oh, wait, isn't that what, uh, I already had? Isn't that what, uh, Thomas put on or whatever? Uh, that one time I needed to be sneaky? I forget when that was. It was a long time ago. What the hell does it do? There should be, instead, instead of, okay. So they have the item bag, the equipment bag. They should just have the thing where it just is like, what's the thing you just got? Like, how do I look up, like, how do I look up the thing I just got? Where is it? I feel like, uh, that should be, like, easier to do. Is it equipment? Oh, yeah, okay, it's equipment. Okay, that I technically should have known. <laughs> uh, okay, it's only defense plus four, so it's old. Plus, we found it in a drawer. A lot of times, we'll have, like, plain clothes and stuff. Just stuff to sell, I guess. Um, okay, so that's gonna do it. Um, yeah, in the next one, we'll go ahead and, uh, wait, why are we, why do we even come here, by the way? Like, the story is taking us in this direction. What is the significance of... Be, of being in this horse racing town and what's the significance of the um the performer at the circus or whatever yeah i have no idea i guess we're gonna find out so in the next one we'll uh, find out so as always thanks so much for watching if you enjoyed this video feel free to drop it a like i appreciate it and i will see you folks next time take care bye